A Muncie couple faces charges tonight after a one-year-old child overdosed on fentanyl. CBS4's Michael Van Skoik joins us now in the newsroom to explain why investigators say this is just one example of a growing trend, Michael. Yeah, Bob, tonight we're told that that one-year-old is still recovering after reportedly overdosing on fentanyl late last week. Now, the child's mother and her boyfriend are now facing neglect charges. Meanwhile, investigators tell me they've seen a startling rise in the number of young children overdosing on the drug. Unfortunately, we see an extremely high number. Delaware County Deputy Prosecutor Zach Craig says he's seen an uptick of fentanyl cases lately. The age of several recent overdose victims has been startling, he says. And unfortunately, we have also seen recently kind of a rash of or a higher occurrence of um, children, uh, especially extremely young children, being exposed to fentanyl. 25 year old Storm Rollins and Michaela Wayland are now facing charges after her one year old overdosed on the drug. Court documents show Rollins believed he possibly got a portion of fentanyl pill residue on or in the child's bottle while making it. When you have the responsibility of providing care for a child and you have substances like this uh, in your home, it presents such a horrible uh, risk to that child. Local doctors say they never used to see children overdose from fentanyl, but now there's a lot of it out there, especially in fake pills. The young kid, especially kids that are six years of age and younger, when they're exploring their environment, they may mistake it for something else, like a, a piece of candy. Dr. Blake Froberg with IU Health and Riley Children's also worries about school age children. Older kids and, you know, teenagers that may be at risk for, you know, following peer pressure or not really understanding what they're doing may see a pill as a safe thing to try. Regardless where the drug comes from, experts worry the issue may only get worse in the coming years. The more that this happens, the higher likelihood that we're going to see cases where there's children that are uh, going to pass as a result of the exposure to fentanyl. And doctors tell me they recommend people have Narcan kits, especially if they know someone who struggles with opioid use. Meanwhile, Rollins and Wayland do not currently have a court date set. In the newsroom, Michael Van Skoik, CBS4 News.